Hey guys, it's like really cold and really windy. I don't know if I can capture the picture of M109. Also, I wanted to cover like five different things in this video. I wanted to give a shout out to two individuals. I wanted to talk about M109. I wanted to talk about how to take pictures using, you know, the big telescopes. How do you capture galaxies using big telescopes? If possible, I'll show you guys how to capture M109 and maybe a picture of M109. Most of the astrophotography channels we have today takes pictures of deep space objects, planets, etc. But there are some people out there who are actually doing astronomy for the sake of saving the humanity or even saving the entire world. So there is a channel out there, it's called Asteroid Hunters. I think it is being run by Mike and his son Brandon. I think they are from LA. They have a beautiful channel. I would definitely recommend you to watch that channel if you are into saving the world kind of theme. Uh, definitely, uh, he got live shows of asteroids. So something interesting to watch. I don't have the plan of actually bringing the big telescope today, but Trevor from the Astro Backyard channel brought this huge telescope and he wants to actually capture galaxies. So back in the day, when I say back in the day, I mean, a couple of years ago, I was like trying to understand how to take pictures. Definitely I watched Trevor's video, particularly the Andromeda Galaxy video. Um, he's talking about his dad and you know, he was ill in the hospital. He wants to take this beautiful picture. Uh, it's a beautiful story. The Astro Backyard, you know, the Trevor, I put it out there because he's, I consider him as too big. So now when he got this huge telescope for taking pictures of galaxies, I thought uh, there is something in common definitely. So I wanted to kind of give a shout out to him right now. So M109 galaxy, it's a spiral galaxy, it's a spiral barred galaxy. What do we mean by that? So in between the galaxy, the middle of the galaxy looks like a steering wheel of a race car. There aren't many galaxies out there that has that kind of a frame scientists doesn't know how the barred shape the galaxies are going to get and how the barred shape is actually connected to the rest of the galaxies we don't know yet there are a couple of papers out there this galaxy m109 is way too far it's like 83 million light years away so if you wanted to make sense out of 83 million light years for us from earth to the edge of the solar system, you know, beyond Pluto, beyond the Oort cloud. For us to travel that far, it takes two light years. And this galaxy, uh, M109, is 83 million light years away from us. That's amazing. If you want to take pictures of these galaxies, you really need to track well, because you are looking so close into the sky with a small field of view, like 0 0.36, 0 0.5, Without a good tracking, I don't think you will be able to capture a decent galaxy. So I wanted to show you guys one important piece of tracking, okay? If you have seen my previous videos, you must have seen me talking about the balancing of your telescope, make sure the balance is good, right? So both on the RA side and the deck side, you need to balance your telescope. Right, so make sure, make sure you have a good balance on both sides, okay. So when, when I'm looking at this right now, right, the way I normally used to balance is like, I usually go with my intuition, make sure the balance is good. And if this is looking pretty good, I would say great, right. When I complete the balance like this, I feel pretty good and I think the balance is great. But sometimes I get a very good guiding and sometimes I don't. So my guiding is like 1.8 on one day and really 0.5 on another day. So I was kind of wondering why I get difference between like one day to the other day, even though I'm checking my balance really well. So I wanted to show you guys one thing, okay? So you can actually get some extra weights for your telescope and see if you can balance using those weights. Make sure the weight, I hope you can see these weights in the video. So these weights cannot be like too heavy, right? You have to find something 
that is beyond the stiction of your telescope okay so you can put like 10 pounds and definitely it will go down on both sides right you have to reduce the weight to a point where it doesn't move on either side and then increase the weight a little bit and see if it is if it starts balancing right when i do this one my guiding is very predictable now i am balancing like really to an accurate level right i do the same thing on the telescope side as well let me i usually put some extra weight on the telescope side and here as well right so if you do this kind of balance not just by manual intuition i think you will have more predictable guiding particularly this is useful when you are taking pictures of galaxies i'll give you some more tips in my next videos how to capture the galaxies if you like this video please make sure you subscribe to my channel click on the notifications button so that you get notification right away whenever i post a new video